Hello! Welcome back, my friends. I am OmniFlash, your guide to the perfect world. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. If you comment below, you'll be entered into a drawing on September 15, 2019 to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card. In today's video, I will be attempting to answer whether or not Perfect World Mobile is free to play. And if you do want to spend some money and support the developers, you can. And I'll tell you exactly what is the best items to buy and teach you how to craft legendary items. So uh, stay along. This is going to be a very good video. It's only about 11 minutes long. So check it out. All right, so many of you have asked me, is Perfect World Mobile free to play? Or do you have to spend some money? And the answer is no, you do not have to spend money if you don't want to. I personally like supporting the developers of making this amazing game simply because I think it's, I think it's worth it, but you don't have to spend a single dime. If you want to complete the dungeons a little bit easier and have the battle rating to defeat those dungeons as a solo person right away, then yes, spend a little bit so that you will be able to do it. But if you are free to play, all you need is a good guild, a guild of people that you play with all the time, and Perfect World Mobile does promote that. There is a circle system where if you have eight friends and if you go do dungeons together, you will actually get defense buffs and other buffs that will help you clear the dungeons. Plus, if you join a guild and you party with your guild members, you will get a rare loot drop increase. So you are going to have a lot of people helping you even if you are free to play as long as you are active as long as you don't do these dungeons afk now if you do want to do dungeons afk then you you have to spend some money because then you have to get so strong that the dungeon bosses can't actually kill you if you are active if you do dungeons with your guild mates perfect world mobile actually rewards activity a lot if you do all your guild massacres if you do your prestige farming do anything if you there's so many guild events every day if you do everything as a guild if you show up guilds are going to want you even if you have slightly less battle rating so it, it doesn't matter if you are free to play as long as you play the game and people are going to watch you in their guild and it's going to be really 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 fun as long as you don't AFK dungeons, if you know your class, if you watch my videos, you know your class, you know how to play, you're going to do very well as free to play. Now, I actually did spend some money to buy gold ingots, and what I bought was these wings. These wings, I bought these permanent, beautiful permanent wings, and I think it was worth it. It was worth every dime to me I don't even know what exactly I bought I did buy the best items which I'm going to tell you which packs are the best items to buy if you do want to spend but this is aesthetic it just makes you look cooler and I mean I really like the wings but you don't have to have those wings my archer is completely free to play as you can see I have bought no gold on there so that's why this offer is still available but if you want to, if you want to just support the game somehow, you spend one dollar on some gold ingots and you will be able to get legendary gloves. These level 19 legendary gloves do not go to waste. You can actually craft them into level 39, level 59 gloves very easily. All you need are a couple of drops from a couple of dungeons. I'll show you later. So if you want to support the game, just buy the one dollar uh, with the bonus ingots. Just one dollar gets you sixty bound ingots, sixty unbound ingots. That's that's not a bad deal. You can do that. You get your legendary gloves right away. Now this is an incredible, incredible deal. The pres 
prestige card gives you unlimited gives you a hundred gold ingots every single day you instantly get 1200 gold ingots for just 1999 now if you buy a regular nintendo switch game it could be 50 dollars a playstation game 50 60 dollars and for just 1999 for the lifetime that you play this game you might play this game for three years five years six years you don't know it's so many ingots unlimited ingots just for 19.99 and i also recommend the 4.99 riverside card which also gets you 300 more unbound ingots so now you will have 15 1500 unbound ingots which isn't bad and you will be getting if you buy the riverside plus also by the prestige card you will be getting 200 bound ingots every day which will make you a lot stronger now the riverside card is monthly it is five dollars it's four dollars 99 cents a month so that's basically 17 cents a day so it's up to you whether or not you want to get that however if you do buy some gold you will be able to get some of these nice items what 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 happens is if you buy the combination of the Riverside and the Prestige card, you will have bought 1,500 Unbound Gold. And Unbound Gold will get you unlocking your Legendary Cape. This Legendary Cape is level 39. However, it is useful. You will craft the level 59, the level 79, and the level 99. Now you can only craft up to level 119 at the moment, but I imagine if like five or six years from now you're level 300, you might still have these, this cape. It'll just be upgraded so high. Now I'm going to go over the legendary materials and where to get them. You will be getting these currently from the Dusk Dungeon, from the Dusk Challenge Dungeons. From these Challenge Dungeons is where you get these legendary items. The Devil Ashes is the level 59 craft item for weapon. Now the price is actually kind of low because you only need one weapon. And these other items that you have, like the Windtaker Armor, is actually needed to our gloves, chest armor, pants and shoes. Even if you already have the gloves from spending $1, you still need the chest armor, pants and shoes because you need three to four of these it becomes much rare if the drop rate is the same the weapon you only need one you need four of these for your armors astro antenna is the same way you need it for your hat and your cape and your ring you only need one ring because your other ring is your rank metal which is covered in my prestige farm and uh, rank and reputation guide now if you look at the astro antenna prices it's actually a really good deal I would recommend if you were to buy, go ahead and buy two Astra antennas, make yourself a ring and a hat. Current market value of Wind Talker's armor is about 2.5 million, and Phoenix Ashes, I believe, can drop to 1.5 million because you only need one, and there's just so many. Now, you should buy some universal units right now. The prices are very reasonable. You need one to 10 universal units in order to craft level 59 gear. You will need a lot more as you go up. You need like 20 for level 79 gear. You need 50 for level 99. To craft legendary gear, go to your enhance menu. Then click on crafting, which will open up at around level 55 to level 60. Then go ahead and click on legendary. Once you get into legendary, you will be able to select the type of item that you want to craft. Now you do need these universal units for 11,000 gold coins. It's a very good deal right now. Go ahead and buy them because it's it's pretty good deal. I don't think they'll drop very much further down. Now you do need one your your 19 gloves. All right, so I already crafted the gloves up to 39. You can take the 39 and one more universal unit and I'm going to make them level 59. These legendary gloves are significantly stronger than the purple gear that I already have. Now I'm going to replace it. Even my level 67 gear cannot compare to my legendary 59. I'm going to replace it and then I'm going to take my purple gear and donate it to add to my rank in order to rank up my rank metal. 
Now remember, if you are crafting legendary gear, the materials for it, the previous legendary gear cannot be equipped. You have to unequip the previous legendary gear. I have to unequip my cape in order to craft it from the level 39 cape to my level 59 cape. And once again, the level 59 cape is really, really strong. Crafting the upgraded sleeves and the upgraded cape only takes one universal unit. Over the past seven days, I have gotten four universal units from the dungeons that I have done. Now you do need 10 universal units if you are going to craft it from the Windtaker's armor or if you're going to use the antenna in order to craft it. That takes 10 of them, but they don't cost that much. They only cost about 11,000 gold. And that is another thing that I love about Perfect World Mobile is that there is a booming in-game economy. When there is an economy that works, you can learn life skills that you can use to make gold. And I'll have to make a video, so do subscribe so that when you when I do upload the new video on how to make money using life skills, you can go gather, you can go fish, you can go cook, all kinds of things that you can do in order to make gold. And so you don't have to be lucky. You can just continue to play the game, which will earn you action points. Using those action points, you can go create items and sell on the online economy. Now, there are higher level legendary gear that needs to be crafted, but they just basically need the same type of legendary materials from the level 79 or the level 99 dungeons. So I'll cover that when we get there. We're not at level 79 or level 99. I'll make an updated video when that comes as well. I wish everyone luck and I hope everyone gets these legendary craft materials from their dungeons. I love you guys, I'll see you next time.